Hi everybody, this is Reese Barber from Audiology Associates. Thank you very much for watching our video today. Um, now, this was a really, really interesting case. Lovely lady came through, uh, had been having lots of issues as far as infections are concerned. Now, when we take a look, we've pointed out where the eardrum should be appearing here, uh, but you can see that it just, there's just wax everywhere. Now, to give you a bit of background to this lady, um, she'd had a few problems with ear infections on this side and had your know, repeated courses of treatment. They've been using something called Automize, which is a kind of like a mild antibiotic steroid spray. Uh, and that's been used repeatedly over the last couple of weeks. Unfortunately, what's happened is there was some wax in here and obviously we had some infected debris as well. When the drops have gone in, it's helped to treat the infection. Um, but what we uh, are left with is wax that's been softened up and infected debris that's also been softened up with the drops and it's gone smooth and then re-hardened against the canal wall. So we've got this initial big chunk of wax here which we're going to take away but as you see we pull this forwards there you are. You can see that it was just sort of, there was something was holding this back. Now, when we take a look in here, you can see it's very dark. Um, basically, we're not getting that reflection off the ear canal walls like we normally would. So we've got this uh, wax and infected debris has gone and coated the entire canal wall, completely covered the eardrum. So this patient's really not been hearing particularly well for, for a little while now. Uh, but it also means that we're gonna have to do a peel across the entire canal wall and the eardrum itself. So not the easiest of things to do. And um, because this is liquefied and then rehardened, you end up with a very smooth surfaced wax that's very thin. Now, if you've watched the channel for a little while, you know that the ear canal walls are really quite sensitive. There's not a, there's not a cushioning, if you like, underneath those canal walls. So you feel any sort of press, bump or scrape on there quite acutely. And um, this is always very difficult to do this type of peel because we've got to work very, very slowly. So basically, we're just very slowly working our way down and hovering just above the canal wall, which is what you're seeing here. And we're just lifting that kind of top layer away. Same thing again now, just very slowly working our way down. Now this is the beauty of using an endoscope for doing these types of procedures. Um, you can get right behind those tools. So I find that we used to use something called a loop, which was sort of magnified lenses and you, you look down through uh, into the ear canal that way. But what I found with that is that you can't get right behind the tool. With this type of procedure, it's great because you can you can be right behind it and you can see where that wax ends and the skin begins. And I always find that much, much easier to do with the endoscope and these much sort of deeper peels as well, also much easier to do with, uh, with an endoscope. So you can see we're just lifting, there we are, from the canal wall. You can see as you lift, this layer becomes almost really sticky. And as you're lifting it up, you can see how it's having to literally peel from the canal wall. So this is the standard size on the tube we've got in here at the moment. Um, now the reason I'm using that over say a fine end uh, here is because it helps me just to, when we've lifted this sort of plate up, sometimes we're lucky and the plate will lift high enough that we can actually get the Zolna tube on it and give it a good grip to take it away. We'll also be introducing olive oil at regular basis, uh, regular times during this. You can see we've just put some in now. Um, and that's because once we've lifted this, it's quite sticky. We don't want it folding back down. It's always gonna wanna return back to its normal position. So when you lift it off the canal, if you put the olive oil in then, what happens as it drops back down, it touches the oil and not the skin. So it doesn't stick again. Much easier for me to lift back off again. Uh, somebody did post in the comments actually the other day uh, asking about when we say we introduce olive oil, how much do we put in? Um, well, you'd put a sort of a, a drop in really. You wouldn't put too much in here. Uh, sometimes if I've got a very deep uh, peel to do, I'll put, I'll put quite a bit in. I'll really kind of flood the canal with olive oil. Uh, but then we're going almost instantaneously. We're going straight back in again then to remove any excess. So I, I hope that answers your question in the comments. Um, so we're just peeling this away here very slowly. Now we can see that it's completely covered the drum. Um, what I can also see, we're starting to get a bit lighter in here where we're uncovering the skin of the canal wall now. Um, but what I can also see is this skin, uh, this, I'm sorry, this wax and infected debris goes all the way around uh, the canal just in front of the drum. Now what that means is that if you try and pull on the drum, it's so thin uh, that this covering that it's actually going to pull the drum with it. So we have to peel around the outside edges and then peel very slowly off uh, off the drum. 
oh, I was almost going to give you a spoiler there. I'm not going to say anything. We're going to have to stick with it for this one. Um, but you can see it's just starting to come away now from the side. There we go. I always get excited when it's a video with a peel because I know you guys love a peel as much as I do, I've got to be honest. Uh, so I always get quite excited. I wanted to get to the good bits. So we can see it's just starting to come down from the top now. We're, we're starting to peel it away here. We've got the fine end on now. Obviously, we're, we're working uh, right against the top of the canal wall. I always tend to, to switch to a fine end to do that just because it gives us a little bit more visibility for, for a start and, and um, you can, with a fine end, you can more clearly see where the top of the, the tube finishes so it's much, uh, you're much less likely to sort of dig it into the canal wall or anything there which is uncomfortable for the patient then. Um, but it's coming away really, really well. You can see, you just see it starting to peel away there. Just working very methodically now around this eardrum. Very slow peels. There we are. You can see it peeling down now. It's starting to come away from that uh, from that top right corner. There's quite a thick section to the bottom and across to the right side as well. Uh, that's quite hardened up. It's in that kind of little valley that we talk about uh, in the sort of the recess just in front of the eardrum there. Uh, it's all kind of pooled in there. You can imagine if you if you sort of turn something into a, a, a liquid, say so you mixed, I don't know, uh, flour and water together and you kind of poured it, it would go into all the nooks and crannies. As it dried out, then obviously you're going you know, to get these slightly thicker uh, sections of that then where it's kind of pooled in this much deeper section. That's what's happened along the bottom there and up to that, uh, up, sorry, up to the right hand side of that. Uh, eardrum. Working along the top now, very slowly peeling down. There we are. You can just start to see we're exposing some of the drum now. So we're just starting to expose the skin of the eardrum. This is always such, such a delicate procedure to do this one. Uh, just getting this off. So what we're going to do now is we've got a good lip. If we can peel downwards very slowly. We're, we're making a, a kind of a, a backwards movement and drawing down at the same time. So you imagine we're getting a grip on the top and folding it and peeling it downwards. Very, very slowly again. There are, unfortunately, it is just so sticky. And as we were pulling down, I could see the top left-hand corner then just starting to flex with it as well. So we're going to need to remove that before we can do the next bit. With earwax removal, it's always about looking for the weakest point in that system and then just starting to take that and exploit that first before, and then you'll find that the rest of it will start to come down. So when you're pulling this, obviously we've got a good grip there on that top section, but when you're pulling, you're always checking the sections around that, looking for any uh, part of that's going to hold it in place or hinder that uh, piece of wax coming away. Here we are working down that right side again. You can see now what we mean by this thicker section. And back to the top again. You can uh, you can just spot there's a bit more olive oil going in. See how this is still coated up all around this left hand side. So if we can pull this left hand side down now, um, we're gonna get a good peel going here. This patient was lovely, uh, absolute trooper. They sat through all of this. As I've said before, you're always checking in with your patient, making sure that they are happy with what you're doing, explaining what you're doing as well. Um, your patients really appreciate if they know what you're doing. So if they can feel you moving over the same spot, I usually take a break, explain that to the patient, explain that this is what's happening, show them what we're doing, and then um, then you know they're more willing to kind of sit through it and and uh, and get this bit done now. As far as the feeling of this is concerned, lots of pulling sensations. You might get the odd mild pinch or mild scratching sensation as this is pulling a little bit, um, which is why you always check in with your patient as well. The other thing I'd always be conscious of working this deep in the canal is triggering a, a sort of a caloric effect. So basically triggering a, a dizzy sensation for this patient. Because when you're suctioning much deeper, you're drawing in the colder air from outside to obviously get pulled into the suction tube. It drops the temperature very, very quickly in the ear canal. And if you're working very close to the eardrum, it'll also drop the temperature in the middle ear space, which can make the, the, the fluid and the balance systems uh, change its kind of thickness, if you like, or its viscosity, I should say, sorry. So basically, it can make it thicker or thinner. So um, what you end up with then is it can make the patient feel a little bit giddy. So if that does happen, we would normally just take a break 
two or three minutes, uh, that would all settle and we'll carry on and get the, get the rest out then. So you can see now we've got a good peel going on the drum, but now we can uh, also see there's a lot of this very dry, sticky material here to this left-hand side. So let's start peeling some of that away as well, really kind of working around the edge of this wax uh, and infected debris working through the bottom section now. Sometimes we're lucky and when we get a grip, if it's thicker at the bottom section, we'll get a good lift there, which will uh, result in a good peel. But you can see now, we can now start to see the ear canal walls all around this. So we can really get a good idea now of the sort of the edges of the eardrum and the edges of this wax, which is obviously very helpful when we're working around the outside edge, trying to peel this away. There we are, it's all starting to peel from the bottom. When you just touch this, you can actually see big chunks of it. There we are. We can see when we pull down from the top, the sides actually started to move. So we know they're detached as well now. There we are. You can see we're doing that gentle kind of pulling down and back motion, which is just drawing it down and peeling it from the drum. Once we've got this loose enough, then we can just go in and grab the whole thing and take the whole thing out in one go. All right, we've got the forceps back in here. Let's very gently work our way down to this top section. There we are, we're just over the edge of it. Let's clamp on. Ah, it's not quite. Let's see if we can pull again. There we go. You can see it's just at the wrong angle there for the forceps. It's kind of like a crest of a wave, if you like. It's kind of come over and dipped off on the other side. And it's just broken away at the top. It's not quite there. We may just be able to get a leading edge here with a forcep. There we are, gentle, pulling this down backwards, very slow. Look at this coming away, guys. It's coming away from the eardrum. It's coming away from the canal walls. One big, so the sheath of skin coming away there. Oh, sorry, too excited. So we pull this forwards. You can look how it's coming out of the canal, how thin that was, how perfectly formed it was. It was all bound together. And there we go. There's the eardrum you can see now, just in the distance there. We've still got some of this uh, sort of, wax debris around the outside, I couldn't get my words out there, wax debris around the outside edge of the ear canal. Uh, and there's just a little bit of, what's down on the eardrum at the moment, obviously we were taking away, it's just a little bit of sort of dead skin that hasn't been able to migrate away because it's been trapped underneath this layer. So we're just using the fine end just to take some of that away. Obviously that will migrate out, it's designed to migrate away. So as long as this patient stays infection free, then what will happen is as that skin migrates from the eardrum, migrates out, it'll bring some of these bits of debris away with it. But we're just taking the worst of it away now. Here we go. And there's a little bit to the um, right hand side here. So we're just going to get just behind that recess, just take some of that away. There we go. A little bit there at the bottom. And then we've got this section here uh, on this uh, on the left hand side. We're just going to take a look at that. Let's see if we can just peel some of this excess off. So we're just going to lift this away now. There we go. You can actually see how it peels there. See how it, it at first glance it's quite hard, and then as soon as you start lifting it, you realise it's actually just re a really thin. Uh, sticky layer. You can see us lifting here, there's a little bit of dry skin there. Let's lift that away as well. There we go, up it comes. Peel that back and lift again. And good peel of that dry skin there. Out that comes, there you go. And it just started to peel back on itself a little bit there. So you can see these very, very thin layers that's been trapping all this kind of skin debris in here as well. Little bit of a uh, little bit of very thin uh, sticky material here to the outside edge. This is more cosmetic. You wouldn't really need to get this kind of stuff out if you didn't want to. Um, we're just kind of tidying up around the outside edge really here. I mean, this would migrate out normally um, with just sort of normal skin and wax migration for the canal anyway, but we'll just get some of this away. There we are. You can see us lifting, pulling backwards, just peeling these little bits of dry skin away. There we are. And we'll just do the same here for the top. Obviously, patient by this point, the patient sat through you know quite a bit already, um, so we won't go too mad around the outside edge here. There we are, and you can see the drum there. 
uh, sorry, I'll give you a better shot of the drum now coming in. Now the section we were talking about earlier, it's got this kind of little bit of sort of uh, debris that's been caught underneath that bit. That's that section there. You can still see a little bit of discoloration there, but basically that's just, that's gonna come away on its own now. You know, we've, uh, we've really kind of done a good job on the eardrums, lovely and clear. This is what we removed. So uh, we've got a little, little uh, two and a half centimeters, one inch there. Uh, the section to the left, uh, no, section to the right side, I've got to remember I'm working backwards here, uh, was actually the peel that came away from the eardrum. So what you can see at the top here was what actually came off the drum. So uh, yeah, almost one big piece. So, um, so a really good one to do. Patient, very, very happy to get that out. As you can imagine, having that hard layer on the drum was really restricting the movement to the eardrum. So it would have really been pulling that hearing down quite dramatically. But patient hearing much better, feeling much better as well. So guys, that's it for me for today. Uh, as always, take care of your ears, take care of your cells, and take care of one another. And I shall oh, have a good weekend as well, guys. It's Friday's video, so have a good weekend. And I shall see you next week on Monday. Take care, guys.